out at windows. There are doors. There is so hot a summer in my bosom that all my bowels crumble up to dust. I am scribbled form drawn with a pen upon a parchment. And against this fire do I shrink up. How fares your majesty? Mm, poisoned, ill fare, dead, forsook, cast off. And none of you will bid the winter come to thrust his icy fingers in my maw, nor let my kingdom's rivers take their course through my burnt bosom, nor entreat the north to make his bleak winds kiss my parched lips and comfort me with cold. I do not ask you much. I beg cold comfort, and you are so straight and so ungrateful you deny me that. Oh, that there was some virtue in my tears that might relieve you. Oh, the salt in them is hot. Within me is a hell, and there the poison is as a fiend, confined to tyrannize on unreprievable, condemned blood. I'm scalded with my violent motion and spleen of speed to see your majesty. Oh, cousin, thou art come to set mine eye. Oh, the tackle of my heart is cracked and burned. And all the shrouds wherewith my life should sail are turned to one hair, one little thread. My heart hath one poor string to stay it by, which holds, but till thy news be uttered, then all this thou seest is but a clod and module of confounded royalty. The dolphin is preparing hitherward, where God he knows how we shall answer him. For in a night the best part of my power, as I upon a vantage did remove, were in the washes all unwarily devoured by the unexpected flood. You breathe these dead news in as dead an ear. My liege, my lord. And now, king, now thus. Even so must I run on. Even so stop. What surety of the world? What hope? What stay? When this was now a king, and now is clay? Art thou gone, sir? I do but stay behind to do the office for thee of revenge, and then my soul shall wait on thee to heaven as it on earth hath been thy servant still. <laughs> 